Sexy welding people from YouTube. How you guys doing? I hope you guys having a good day. I hope you guys having a safe day if you're working. Today's video, guys, I want to do this video for you guys. Um, something different. Um, I want to go ahead and do it a little ISO for you guys. Um, on my last job, guys, I was doing a lot of pipe fitting. I wasn't welding at all. So I pick up a lot of tips and tricks from uh, a lot of pipe fitters that I work with um, so I learn a lot of stuff so I want to share some of that knowledge with you guys and um, I make this little ISO for you guys to check it out all right so without further ado let's get to it all right all right okay so we're gonna look for the ISO I have it right here already so I make this ISO from uh, from my ISO that I have, but obviously I didn't put the company name or server's line number or anything like that. All right. So this um, particular ISO is from Captain Manny Group. This is the name of the company. It's a big international company. All right. They do pipeline and all type of services, even mines and underwater welding. Danger, Royal Robinson. <laughs> All right, now back to the business. Okay, so first thing you want to do, or well, first thing I will do, is check the bill of material right here. When the when you show up to work and your foreman or your, your boss, whoever your boss give you an ISO for you to do, you know, you check the bill of material because right here, right away you see the the pipe size is gonna be three inch. So you're already thinking, okay, this is a strange pipe. And right here, it tells you the size of the pipe and the fitting. So the pipe is going to be three inches. Mm -hmm. Next thing you want to check, next thing you want to check is the quantity. Right here, it's only going to be three feet, five inches and a quarter. So it's not even a four feet. Sometimes the quantity could be 250 feet, you know, 300 feet, 500 feet. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of work. And then on the description, right here will tell you pipe S stands for um, schedule. So the schedule of the pipe is on this particular one is a standard. So STD is for standard. And then right here A53B that um, is what the material of the pipe. They um, what what kind of material they build the pipe with, you know. Obviously it's metal, but you know, there's all different kind of, they're all different types of metals. They're cheap metal and there's, you know, good metal. It could be, uh, you know, there's pipe that is seamless. So what you want to check is if make sure the pipe is A53B. Um, this particular pipe or this line that we're going to, this little spool is a continuation. There's more lines coming and the service is fuel gas. So sometimes if you don't find the right uh, material, they'll let you use um, a different one, different material. Um, like if it's drain, you know, if it's drain line instead of fuel gas, you know, drain lines, uh, they'll let you use a different one. Then, but um, you have to ask your boss. All right. So after you find your pipe, you know, usually comes in the spools of 25 feet. Um, you only need four feet, but if you cannot find a piece that is four feet five feet you know a short piece so you don't have to have a full spool um then you you know trying to find it if you don't then you know just grab the whole spool all right after that um you look for the right here you look for the other rest of material so right here we have a one three by three T schedule standard. What this three by three means is that this T right here is all the three parts or exits or ends of the T are the same size. So this is three inch, three inch, three inch. Sometimes could be three by two, which means three, three, and then this will be two inches or, or you know, whatever. It's a reducer. So three, three, two. All right. 
so you have to make sure you have the right one so this one is asking for a three by three by three so make sure you get the right fittings all right next on the list a third item so also so you have number one right here so one right here will be for the pipe the whole pipe number two is for the T you can see here and number three is for the 90 the elbow all right so we have one 90 three inches uh, 90 um, LR stands for long radius and there's also short radius but uh, most of the time I have never seen a short radius 90 so uh, you know most of the time is all R so long radius 90 schedule standard all right so after you find all your material all your fittings and your pipe um, you want to go to the closest as you can get as where this spool is going to go so you know that by these coordinates that they give you so elevation um, this elevation when I was working that was the first rack the first elevation it has three elevations and this one's this one right here will go on the first elevation so 109 and then you find your north your east all right and that's where you want to be working at next to or close to the area where you're gonna be taking the, your spool and install it or maybe they won't let you install it then you have to put it next to it all right after that uh, right here I already mentioned that this is for fuel gas this will be your drawing number sometimes they'll ask you to put the drawing number on the line uh, make sure we have the latest revision right here you can see it's the revision zero so it's the latest one um, also you want to make sure that you grab the right paint of the pipe as you know this one is paint 1 8 top coat and there's all different types of paint up there you know 1b and so on so okay this is not important but I put it right here anyway so uh, this pipe is not gonna have insulation and this is max and minimum operation of the pipe what the, the spec of the pipe is so A1C is stress relief no and revisions this is for construction um, this is the day that it was approved for construction it was on the December 22nd 1988 yep this company it takes the time to get this stuff done all right again revision zero over here this square right here guys BT I believe it stands for visual inspection so 100% every time we call um when we like if we finish this pool right here they will ask us to call the qc so he can bt at all the welds so he will come and look at the welds and then if, if he liked the welds or uh or the visual i guess if the welds pass the visual impact inspection he will pull his initials and he put okay bt in every, every single weld and the date so that's this is what BT stands for. I think it's for visual inspection. If you know it's for something else, maybe maybe a different name, but you know, comment on the section below. But I think that's I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for. Um UT UT, this is um 10% only, and that's uh for x-ray. So for example, for this pool, they were gonna x-ray this. Uh, spool they will only x-ray 10 percent they're not gonna do all the wells you know otherwise it will be a hundred percent which means that every single well will be x-ray but this right here means that only 10 percent is gonna get x-ray so from this spool they'll, they'll probably test one random and if it passes they don't test the rest all right guys so bt visual inspection ut 10 percent x-ray all right after that this little circles right here is for the well number so every single dot right here obviously is gonna be a weld um, 
and they have a number and then this this space right here will be empty but this one you can see here that somebody already weld this one and this one and this other one they're all done except for the field weld FW is what uh, stands for field weld so you will put the initials of who weld the pipe sometimes they'll have a they have a number a stencil number or sometimes they'll they'll put the name or initials it just depends on the company and you want to put the date too as well so captain did all these walls right here all right after that okay guys so after that on this particular iso and sometimes the most most of the isos i think but um on this company they will give us the measurements from um from the center to center okay and i think most of the companies is that's how it is center to center okay so this measurement right here is from the center of the t to the center of this wall right here okay so that measurement is one feet three inches and three eighths okay so what you want to do is do the takeoff from this t right here to get this little spool right here so you have one feet so on your calculator you want to press conversion x so you can clear all everything out and then you have one feet uh three inches three eight minus the takeoff of this t which is three inches three eighths pretty simple so you know it's gonna be one feet all right and right here for this one is giving you the these two feet one inch and a half is from the center of this T to the center of this 90 okay so conversion X on your calculator two feet one inch and a half minus you guys already know three inches three eighths from the T that's the takeoff three inches three eighths which equals one feet ten inches but we have to do the takeoff of this 90 which is a three inch 90 and this measurement right here this is what the this measurement is this is the takeoff of this 90 which is four inches and a half sometimes they will do things like this they will do they will only this you know it's only telling you what the takeoff of this 90 is Sometimes they do this, sometimes they don't. So we already have one feet ten inches and one eight minus four inches and a half. Which that will give us one feet five inches five eighths. Okay. Alright. So this little spool right here is gonna be one feet five inches five eighths. Alright. So that's the measurement for this one and then for this one right here we have calculator convection all clear and we have one feet three inches okay minus the takeoff of the three you guys already know it is three inches three eighths that will give us eleven inches and five eighths okay so once you figure out this the cutting of these pools right here so from here to here from here to here from here to here then you go ahead and cut your pipe from the spool that you brought or from the mm -hmm. five feet of that you spool that you get or whatever so you cut this one you cut this one and you start um you start a pipe fitter what does that mean well you start fitting the pipe you know you you can start with the 90 you can start the T with a piece of pipe you know and um, I will say for today's video guys I think um, this is it for you guys um, I hope you guys learn something um, if you know more about this little ISO that I made or you have any comments you know make sure you do you leave your comments in the comment section below 
maybe I missed something or maybe I did something wrong all right um, on my next video guys um, I'm gonna try to fab this little little ISO so I will show you how to how to fit you know the T I have the T I have the 90 I have the 3 inch pipe so on my next video guys I'll be fitting the the pipe to the T and to the 90 all right so that was it for today's video guys okay stay safe out there and try not to get sick and I'll see you next time all right adios